The specially designed suitcase contains the Shoko analyzer, sample cups for contraction and temper measurements, power cable, Ethernet cable, USB stick for transport of data, and an extra roll of printing paper, and a user manual where all information in these user guide videos can also be found. Read carefully. Cups and USB can be placed under the middle cover where the printer and the quick guide is found. Place the instrument on a level, stable surface. Movement on the instrument during test can interrupt with its measurements. The environment must be stable. Be careful not to touch the instrument during test, as this provides both heat and pressure to the instrument, which interferes with measurements. Make sure that windows near the instrument are closed, and no air conditioning is pointed towards the instrument, as this also affects measurements. When the shock analyzer is placed, the power supply cable can be connected to the rear of the instrument. Once the cable is plugged into the power outlet, the instrument can be switched on. Now a start screen will appear. It is from here you access all settings for the instrument. At the bottom, you find the status line that shows all details about ongoing tests and fault messages. The button in the middle of the status line leads to the application menu, where all apps, files, and start screen is found. In settings, you can find the general settings where the date, time, units, and language are set. In ID settings, you can create IDs for the chocolates used or different lines. When an ID is created, it can be used during testing in different apps. In in FTP settings, you can connect to a network or other devices to transfer data automatically from or to the instrument. In calibration settings, there are four different calibration options for every sensor in the instrument. 